China lied, people died. This is a phrase being used by people across the world. But you will be surprised to know that the WHO agrees. Much has been written about how the World Health Organization colluded with the Chinese Communist Party and blinded the world over the impending disaster that was the coronavirus pandemic. Taking action against the WHO, US President Donald Trump initially temporarily froze its funding and now he has terminated all ties with the WHO. The WHO lost its top funder and perhaps that has now prompted it to change its tunes. In a bombshell development, an associated press report has said that the WHO lauded the Chinese government so as to extract the virus-related data as the organization was increasingly frustrated with China's constant delays to share data with it. The report says that the WHO publicly postured itself as the CCP's lackey so as to obtain critical data to combat the virus. In January, on the one hand, the WHO was praising China for its transparency and according to the WHO, it was very impressive and beyond words. But at the same time, the Chinese government delayed the release of the genome sequencing data for more than a week after the Chinese government labs were successfully able to decode the genome sequence of the virus. On January 6, it has been reported that WHO officials complained in meetings that China was not sharing enough data on the virus. The government labs were forced to release the genome sequence after another lab went against the authorities and published it online on January 11. According to recordings obtained by AP, the WHO lauded the CCP in a desperate attempt to get more information out of China. In an internal meeting, WHO's technical lead for COVID-19, Maria Van Kerkhove, has said that we're going on very minimal information. It's clearly not enough for you to do proper learning. WHO's top official in China, Dr. Gordon Galea, in another internal meeting said, we're currently at the stage where, yes, they're giving it to us 15 minutes before it appears on CCTV. According to the report, the WHO officials fear that pushing for gene sequences and patient data will anger the Chinese authorities and put the lives of Chinese scientists in peril while also increase the risk of being kicked out from China. WHO's chief of emergencies, Dr. Michael Ryan said, this is exactly the same scenario, endlessly trying to get updates from China about what was going on. WHO barely got out of that one with its neck intact given the issues that arose around transparency in southern China. Referring to the Ebola outbreak, Dr. Ryan further added, this would not happen in Congo and did not happen in Congo and other places. We need to see the data. It's absolutely important at this point. Genome sequencing was the first step to ascertain the spread of the virus in other countries and also the first step of the development of tests, vaccines and drugs to combat the virus. The fact that the CCP knowingly delayed the release of the data directly makes Xi Jinping culpable. In what reveals the extent of WHO's collusion or the alleged helplessness, the Shanghai Public Clinical Health Center led by famed virologist Zhang Yongshen warned that it should be contagious through respiratory passages. We recommend taking preventive measures in public areas. It was totally expected of China to stifle this important bit of information, but why did the WHO not act on this information and at least warn the world is a question that is still to be answered. Recordings of internal meetings show that Michael Ryan remarked in disdain, we have to be consistent. The danger now is that despite our good intent, especially if something does happen, there will be a lot of finger pointing at the WHO. However, the fact that this report came out just after Trump decided to terminate ties with the WHO signals that the organization is trying to play down its blatant collusion with China. The USA is the organization's top donor as it contributed $893 million to the organization in the year 2018 to 2019. It is not far-fetched to say that the WHO is coming with a lame excuse to save its reputation and funding. What the WHO is now trying to put out in the media is that We only praised China because we wanted more information out of China. The WHO's excuse is ridiculous. Taiwan had alerted the organization about the possible human-to-human -human transmission as early as December. Dr. Tedros was busy singing endless 
praises of Xi Jinping and even castigated countries like the US and India who issued a blanket travel ban on China and the WHO didn't even recommend airport screening. The WHO openly denied the possibility of human-to-human -human transmission on January 14 at the behest of China. It was not only praising China's so-called transparency, it was absolutely following the CCP's narrative and acting as its lackey. The WHO's Assistant Director General Dr. Al Ward led a WHO joint mission to China during the peak of the virus outbreak in the country. Dr. Al Ward led the mission and came out with a shocking report that sang endless praises of Xi Jinping and the CCP. After the mission, Al Ward was quoted, It's the unanimous assessment of the team that they, that is China, have changed the course of this outbreak. He further added that, in the face of a previously unknown virus, China has rolled out perhaps the most ambitious, agile and aggressive disease containment effort in history. Yes, this is Dr. Alward. It is safe to say that there has been so much collusion between the WHO and China that it does warrant for an international investigation.